Welcome. Let's take a look now at a risk event for the week starting Monday, the 17th of April. And I want to focus in on three o'clock in the morning, UK time. We have to get up very early for this one. If you're trading here in the UK or European markets, it's a 3 a.m. UK time release of China GDP for the first quarter. Now, I'm using this as a risk event because there is a chance that we could well see uh, this disturb the markets if we do get a reading that's outside of expectations. We're looking for a first quarter reading, quarter on quarter, of 1.2% after a flat fourth quarter reading. So far as the year on year is concerned, that's up 2.9% uh, in the fourth quarter to 3.2% according to the consensus. Now, let's uh, take a look at uh, the backdrop to this because we've got the recent release of the IMF's assessment of global GDP. And in that, it highlighted the latest forecast for Chinese GDP. And the IMF message was uh, that following the decision by the authorities to abruptly end their COVID restrictions uh, as we went into the beginning of 2023, 20, uh, uh, the IMF now says you project growth to increase from 3% in 2022 to 5.2% in 2023, driven by a rebound in private consumption amid the earlier than anticipated reopening in China. Let's take a look at a chart to follow because I think I wanted to look at the uh, FTSE China A50 index. Now, this is a, uh, a stock market index which is listed by the FTSE group. The components are chosen from the Shanghai Stock Exchange and the Shenhen Stock Exchange, which are A-issued shares. Now, it's the top 50 market capitalized shares. Now, the long-term picture, you can see that we've got this uh, symmetrical triangle pattern building here. Uh, and what I've done here is I've, I've taken um, the, the highs to the lows and the lows to the highs. I've drawn this and it comes to um, a, a, an apex on Monday, the 24th of April, so the, uh, the, the following Monday. Uh, but the release next Tuesday could give a little bit of a disturbance. And I think if you get a candle trade outside of either this falling line of resistance or this uh, rising line of support, then we can go in either of these two directions. Now, let's just suggest we do get an upside surprise and the IMF is right and we do get better than expected figures. And we have to say that on the background to this, uh, we've got good uh, Chinese construction and property sector beginning to develop. If you do get an upside surprise, uh, you measure the height of the, of the point of this triangle here, and you would then get a projection up at 14,000, up from 13,120, which is where we are. If you get a downside surprise and some bleak outlook, then I think the um, uh, rising line of support will be broken and we'll get the candle closed below there. And then you're on the way then down to the 12,250 uh, level. We'll have to see how things develop on Tuesday, but certainly that Tuesday release of GDP could be a good risk event to watch out for.